Hey guys, Scott here, Construction Technology Partners. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through today on an 855 base here, how to set up a new base location. This would be if you're just wanting to throw a base up and maybe build a flat pad or something that's pretty handy. So if we just hit enter, we'll go into mode settings, we'll hit enter again. It's gonna tell us what mode we're on, we want base. We're going to, when it says edit current, we're actually gonna use the arrows to scroll down. We're gonna hit new base here. This is after our base station is set up, Zephyr set up, everything's ready to go. Base name, if you use the arrows, I hit over. Now I can scroll up and down. This is a little bit slow task, but you just want it to be a different name than what you have had it set to before. Base code, we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, if we were hooked up, this is just in my garage here, but if we were hooked up, we'd get a base lat. We'd get a base long and a height. Model two is the big Zephyr antenna. That's what we're running. Measure two APC, that's the face center. We're gonna leave that. Our antenna height offset. Uh, port radio format, since we're in here, we're gonna change this. We want this to be running CMR plus. Should always be running CMR plus. CMRX is proprietary to Trimble. CMRX is a little more user friendly. Just keep hitting enter. That's our radio channel. Um, we can scroll up and down to change that to what you want it set at. That's gonna to need to match on your base or on your rover and on your machine. Hit enter and leave those alone and leave those alone and then we'll get back to our main screen. And we should start transyncing off of our new base location that we created. And you can see there's the radio channel that we changed.